I'm kind of an addict in, when it comes to books. I like having as many of them as possible. I've shown it in a previous vlog just how many books I have. Textbooks frustrate me because I like to read, but I like to enjoy what I'm reading. And it feels kind of pressuring when they're testing you on what the interior is, but I can't think of any other thing. I know that the things that I pay for in college half the services I don't take advantage of doing because I'm just mainly concentrating on getting the work done and having fun when I'm at home on the weekends. Should be more disciplined than that. Eventually I'll get around to it. Now on to the things. As I was inspired by the lovely Undead Poet Society, who I just discovered because of Soul de Glow, or Melinda Hudson, who I found through another person on YouTube. I really like your small content makers. One, you have the time to respond to comments and you find it quite meaningful, and I like getting replied to. I like conversations with people. But even more than that, sometimes when you're just considering something for yourself, you put a little bit more effort in it. You make sure it looks good in the way that you like it being released. So as to things that I would want to be better at doing. I really do wish if that I was better at music. Because it's, I remember at one point in my life I was delighted that I had a kazoo. I mean, that, this was even beyond the little kid having a kazoo thing. I just thought, oh, I can just hum. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a fascinating old song. And then people grew quickly disillusioned with my ability to play the kazoo. And I slowly went woke up to reality of, no, that, that's not an instrument at all. Instrumentation takes work, it takes an ear for it. I can make out different patterns and the way things fall upon my ear, however, I cannot differentiate between the different notes. So, it's kind of like being colorblind when it comes to music and it might take work that I'm not willing to put in to change that. Along the similar lines is languages, because I psych myself out on that. I'm guessing that if I really put an effort out, I could be good at languages, but I haven't really had a call to do that, and if I don't use something right away, or find a use for it, then I will just be formalmatic in the things I say, and the phrases I'll just be a typical American tourist of saying phrases because actual creative arrangement of things and grammar really throws me off. I think America's really messed up when it comes to that because our grammar's just so peculiar. Reminds me of the scene in My Fair Lady in the end when they're like, we did it, we did it. We said that we could do it and indeed we did. And he said, there's a line, her English is too good to say. That clearly indicates that she is foreign. Because they don't have a clue how to speak to them, which they have this particular dialect thing that they don't want to admit to, even these accents. So, that's a definite thing I want to change. I want to be better at languages. Third thing is being more organized. Because although all the things are interconnected and organized in my brain, it's more of like an organization through communication. Being able to communicate my thoughts in a way that you would understand while still having a bent to it, where you can recognize that I am not copying other people's things. I hope. The hard thing about life is figuring out what originality there is left to do, because by the time I usually think of doing something, I look up on the internet, find out somebody's already done it, and done it to such a degree that's better than anything I would even attempt. So, I'm of the mindset that if somebody is doing something already, doing a very good job of it, I'm going to find something else, find my own niche. But when the need arises, I will learn how to do something, and I will learn how to do it well through experience. It just takes me a little bit of time. Kind of like Zelda in Squaresville, I want to want something. I'm at a point in my life where I have a lot of opportunities in places that I want, that I could do. It's just I don't always have the wisdom of what I would like to do. In hindsight, things are a lot clearer than they are. <laughs> from the present, and when you see things from the present and you only see things as they are, sometimes you do not notice the bigger picture of 
where you could be trending and what you could be doing with your life. So, it's been something that's been on my mind, and I've talked to my friends, and they eventually think that college is just going to overprice itself out of existence, or something's going to have to replace it, because the way things are trending, it's expensive, and though they try to educate different people, they can't be all learning styles to all people. I've been lucky so far on the professors that I have had at school. I really enjoy YouTube, Twitter, and the company of friends to keep me sane. As an endnote, as written in the Sandman comics by Neil Gaiman, who is also exceptionally dementally brilliant mind. In the story, there is seven endless being dream, delirium, desire, um, destiny, despair, death, I believe, and destruction. Destruction leaves at some point in the series. It's a nice point. But at one point, Dream takes on a bet with his sister, despair, on the life of a man who is not making it in life. And he claims that he will give him a purpose, and he gives him the dream of being the emperor of America. And later on, when Delirium comes along, she lazily says, He's not one of mine, is he? He's, he's not crazy. And Dream replies, No. His madness keeps him sane. One of them said that, and that's kind of how I view my life. The rare irrationalities I allow myself when out of the workplace are what make sanity in the workplace possible. Balance.